Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over kind of what are my thoughts on the new launch part of Jungle Scout. Um, I know it's been out for a little while and I'm a little late to this, but I just watched Greg Mercer's launch video and I have some notes to take and just some of my views on things. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so I figured the best way to do this would kind of be just to go over the how to launch your Amazon product, new Jungle Scout feature release video with you guys. So it's kind of just like my opinions on it and we're gonna be going over the video. I have some notes here, um, some points I wanted to bring up and just my thoughts. Of course, you guys know I've had some issues with giveaways. <laughs> if you know who I am, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if not, if you're new here, love to have you guys subscribe. And without further ado, let's kind of just move into the video. First point we have, right, the Jungle Scout launch feature, what is it? So Jungle Scout just released a feature and it integrates JumpSend, which is their email marketing software that I use personally for all my products. And I think it's great, I love JumpSend. Um, you know, you're able to ask for legitimate reviews, non-biased reviews, it's within terms of service um, to people who buy your products and it's in, uh, automated, so you don't actually you know, have to sit there and review every um, person who buys it, grab their email, copy and paste it, put this template. No, it's just completely automated. It happens while you sleep and it's a great way to gain reviews. So now instead of that being its own software, I think it was $29 a month, I believe. And now that's integrated within the web app. So if you have the web app, you have access to unlimited email marketing, which is awesome. Great way to get reviews, great way to capture emails. Um, and then this new launch feature is kind of what we're going to be jumping into and watching the video about and that's going to be the part where it's so it's a deal site that they've integrated with Jungle Scout and it's unlimited launches. I think it's priced insanely well, insanely cheap. Uh, it's like $50 a month for unlimited launches and that includes the web app, which is amazing. I've paid $500 for a launch before and that's just one launch. So unbelievably effective and well-priced and useful. I think Jungle Scout is known for that, just being the company of value and really bringing value to Amazon sellers. Let's just jump right into it. So my first point that I have here is kind of at, let's see, I said 202. It's JumpSend integration. Let's see what Greg has to say about this. JumpSend's a tool that we had built a few years ago to help people launch deals or launch coupons uh, out to shoppers, as well as send email campaigns to get things like reviews or feedback um, or follow-up sequences or whatever else. And tonight's a really exciting night because we are announcing that we have actually deprecated JumpSend but more importantly, we've moved all the fantastic functionality of JumpSend into Jungle Scout. Not only that, but we've made it a lot better than what it was before. So you still have access to all those shoppers and the email campaigns, but we've made a bunch of really neat improvements as well. So the first of these big features and improvements that we have inside of here is with our email campaigns. So if you're not familiar with email campaigns, how it works is after someone purchases your product, that triggers an email and in the email, you're either giving information to your customer or you are asking for them to perform an action or behavior and all right, so yeah, that was exactly what we were just talking about. That's jump send, that's Greg's way of explaining it. Again, I'm playing the video because I don't want to paraphrase here. I think the details are important, but yeah, essentially jump send has been integrated into Jungle Scout web app now. So if you see the launch area, go to email promotions, and you'll be able to email your customers. You know, it's an automated service, so you won't be doing it personally, but they'll be receiving your templates. You could ask for legitimate reviews that way. Um, like I said, I've used that in the past, and I think that's great. I've gotten tons of reviews from doing that. So now let's move into the promotions area, and this is the exciting part that I actually wanted to talk about, um, and I have some thoughts on. So first, let's just jump right into what Greg says about it, and then... You know, I'll come back and talk a little again. The other huge feature that we've re just released inside of Jungle Scout is our promotions feature. So the promotions feature is awesome. How it works is you can load your coupons into Jungle Scout and bargain hunters will still shop on JumpSend. They'll look for your product and they'll request a coupon. You can give them the coupon 
they'll purchase your product on Amazon, and by doing so, you're getting additional sales, which helps you with page rank. And we'll talk about that in a little bit more depth here shortly, but this is an, another really exciting future for us, and this is now live for all of the Jungle Scout customers. Cool, so that's just a quick overview of what it is. Obviously, the next part I play, we're gonna go really in depth on how it works, how are the codes distributed, and more touching on terms of service. And now this part just goes into kind of reviews of their product. So far, it's been in beta for a little while, and now these are people talking about it. Of course, they're all really good reviews. Um, Greg answers some questions, but we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. I have another bookmarked timestamp here. Um, at about five, I said 525 or 524, he talks about how does the launch work, right? And I think that's what a lot of you guys are interested. That's why you clicked on this video. So let's hear kind of how does this new launch feature work, and how does it rank you on the first page? I've heard some of the feedback that other people have given, but how do you launch a product? What's working well today? What's not working? There's a lot of rumors floating around about this works and that doesn't work and this isn't allowed and that's allowed and whatever else. And let me start with just the very basics, okay? In order to rank well on Amazon, we know that you have to have sales or more importantly, like sales velocity, so how quickly you're selling these goods. We also know that your, your listing has to convert well, okay? And some combination of the sales velocity, your conversion rate, and what I believe is your historical sales, as well as your keyword relevancy is what Amazon kind of adds together to figure out how they want to rank your listing in the search engine results. So when a customer searches for a keyword, Amazon has an algorithm to figure out how uh, well to rank your particular listing. Now, the problem with this is since we know that sales and sales velocity are a major factor in ranking well, is when you launch a brand new product on Amazon, you don't have any sales, right? And what sellers are often left with is a little bit of the chicken and the egg problem. So you don't have any sales, but you need sales in order to rank well, right? So to get started, I like to call these kind of assisted sales. So these aren't sales that are gonna be happening organically, and I'll go over a few of the ways to get assisted sales here momentarily. But after you start to get some of these sales, now you're ranking better in the search results. When you rank better in the search results, now you're getting more organic sales. When you get more organic sales, you rank better in the search results. When you get any sales, a certain portion of those result in reviews. Now that you have more reviews, your conversion rate's improving. And as you can see, these things start to snowball on top of each other. But it all starts with getting those assisted sales because otherwise you're kind of just stuck with the chicken and the egg problem, right? So this is a very important thing to understand. These are the very basics of how to rank on Amazon, but these are really the fundamentals that it's important for you to understand. So in theory, it's great, right? I definitely can't you know so he goes to explain kind of this this little chart that they've made of effectiveness of ranking your products and i don't disagree with that i think deals sites are very effective um, i've launched with page one within you know a couple days of launching i was doing 20 units a day it was working great but then i got suspended for misuse of sales rank and that's something i wanted to touch on in a second before i do Let's jump into the next part where he kind of explains how their sales work. Coupons out still work. Does it help you still get sales? And do those stale sales still help your organic search ranking in the Amazon search results? And the answer to that is yes. And I think this shows it. I also personally, this is how I launch my products. And I think a lot of people who have tried this method themselves realize that this is still a very effective method for launching new products. Um, when we think about people who don't launch successfully, um, it's usually because you don't have a well-planned out launch, right? So I see so again, guys, kind of touching on the effectiveness, right? It's not the effectiveness that I'm worried about. I know for sure that if you use a giveaway or a deal site and push claim codes, it's very effective and it does inflate your sales rank. It gets you pushed up to the top of page one really quickly. 
Um, and it's kind of in your control, right? Because you determine the amount of coupons you want to give out. So if you know you need to give out 10 a day, you could easily do that. Um, and Amazon definitely still counts those. So yeah, I agree it is effective, but let's just jump over really quickly to the exact thing that happened to me, right? That's why I'm a little bit scared about this, right? So here's Amazon's terms of service. This is Seller Central, Amazon's terms of service. Um, and this is the part that I don't understand, but I'm gonna, you know, put my best foot forward and assume that Jungle Scout was a little bit more professional about this than Page Oneify. For those of you who do not know, I used a service called Page Oneify, which uses coupon codes at a deep discount. They drive traffic to those discount codes. You get a ton of sales very quickly, and it pushes you to the top of Page One through those deep discounted um, sales. And yes, it was effective. That's not what we're talking about anymore. But the issue is I actually got suspended from selling on Amazon. I did get my account back within a few days, but it was not cheap to do so. I hired an Amazon attorney. I know some others have gotten it back with just these little templates that they set up themselves, but I wanted to make sure I got it back quickly and it didn't affect any of my products. So that's what I'm worried about, right? And now let's actually look into the TOS and I'll tell you why I pulled this up specifically. Misuse of sales rank, right? So this is exactly where I think we're kind of in a gray area with the new launch tool. And I'm completely open-minded about this. So correct me if I'm wrong about any of this. I'm just trying to use objective data here and facts. Can't really argue with facts or the law of Amazon. So this is just my interpretation and reading exactly what's there. But again, I think Jungle Scout is a very well-established company and hopefully they, they understand the, the terms of service and no one gets suspended for doing this. You cannot provide compensation to buyers for purchasing your products. Okay, that makes sense. So you can't you know, pay someone to buy your product and then have that inflate your rank. Here's the issue that I'm seeing. Or, so you cannot provide compensation to buyers or provide claim codes, which is coupons. That's exactly what we're doing with the Jungle Scout launch feature to buyers for the purpose of inflating sales rank. So here's where we kind of run into a wall. It's like, if you're providing claim codes in the first place, obviously the intention or the purpose would be to inflate your sales rank. So the whole purpose of giving claim codes away is to get more awareness about your product so that through getting more awareness, your product gets pushed up farther on the first page or on the second page, wherever you are. This is the part where I don't see a way around this. So we're using a deal site, we're providing claim codes to buyers for the purpose of inflating sales rank. I think it'd be foolish to say we're just providing claim codes to buyers for the purpose of giving away our products. I don't think that's what we're doing. I think the whole purpose is to inflate your sales rank. So to push non-organic traffic to your listing and have them purchase it in order to gain rank. So that's, that's the part where I'm pretty much having a hard time understanding this because I don't see how this is any different than the other ones. Again, Greg is not promoting a sale in order to get a review, which is obviously against terms of service. That's not what we're doing here. And then in the comments of the video that we're watching, the launch video, someone said, "Aren't isn't this style of launching prohibited by Amazon? And Jungle Scout replied back, that's a rumor. Our way of using deal sites is within perfectly within terms of service. And why don't we just go look? Um, I actually commented too, because <laughs> I'm curious. But here's the comment. I thought Amazon no longer allows deal sites at all. That's a rumor. Sometimes people confuse coupon distribution sites like Jump Send or Jungle Scout with the old companies that used to exchange discounts or freebies for reviews. Coupon distribution sites like ours are perfectly within Amazon's terms of service. But here's the thing, Page Oneify had nothing to do with reviews. So that's the part where I'm I'm seeing, you know, it had nothing to do with reviews. It was a launch service where you get sales. So I don't see how that's any different than a coupon distribution site, which is essentially what Page Oneify was. They're distributing your coupons to buyers who wanted good deals. And you could tell I'm just having a hard time wrapping my mind around this because I don't see how this is any different. I would love for it to exist because it's an incredible way to launch your product and it's very, very effective, but I just, I don't see how it's possible. And I'm personally scared to do it. 
There's one more part that I did want to touch on and it, there, it was Greg addressing this directly. So someone asked the question and it looks like at 38, 18 I have, someone said it and we're gonna go listen to what he has to say. Um, uh, Katie Blair said, isn't Amazon cracking down on giveaways? You know, this is what I said earlier, like um, there's been rumors floating around for as long as I've been selling on Amazon. So literally for like uh, the better part of a decade, um, there's the chatter has never stopped that like this week or this month or this year or whatever, <laughs> that Amazon's cracking down on doing these giveaways. And, um, you know, we uh, have not seen that ourselves. These are still very effective. We literally just launched our jungle slider keyboard tray that we did as part of the million dollar case study just a, a like a let's see two months ago now this is the exact method we used for it and all of it was perfectly fine so you know i don't believe those kind of like rumors floating around that they are cracking down on it and you know the people that i've talked to at amazon um haven't uh, alluded to that either so that's it guys that's all that there was to be said about that and I wanted to bring you over to the terms of service specifically so that you can see. The question was about rumors and Greg himself puts rumors in quotations. <laughs> I mean, I love the company and I love Jump Sign. I love Jungle Scout, I use it daily and I have a link for it in the description. I love promoting their services because I think it is a great service. But this, I think we're in a bit of a gray area and we're not working from a rumor, a subjective or an opinionated stance. I took you over to terms of service and showed you that you cannot provide a claim code in exchange for inflating rank. So I'd love for Jungle Scout to comment on this or get back to my comment on this video, but I just want proof that this doesn't get you suspended because I was suspended for that exact issue. So I think it's a great point for me to come in and talk on this issue. Again, I have nothing against the service. I would love for it to work, but personally, I'm just a little bit scared to try it. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this and, you know, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong on anything. I tried to be as factual and objective as possible. I went to the terms of service, provided all the details there. If you did enjoy this video, um, you know, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here um, and leave a comment down below. I really love this topic specifically because I feel like giveaways stir up the Amazon community a ton, especially with what's been happening lately. And, you know, I'm speaking from experience. Like I said, guys, I got suspended for doing claim code giveaways. So other than that, guys, this was a fun one and I'll see you in the next video.